as I said, I don't want to give an overly negative image about Korea because I know that these days a lot of foreigners are interested um, about Korea and wanting to come to stay here. I don't want to scare you off or discourage you from any of that, but I also wanted to be honest and I don't want to sugarcoat things and I made this video because a lot of my foreigner friends uh, they say that Korea is not what they expected because most of the media is like saying the good things about Korea and like like culturally like fun stuff I don't see a lot of youtubers talking about these problems that you might face as a foreigner I try to state things that are relevant to you um, all of my viewers are foreigners so I made this video to try to be helpful to you so that you are hopefully not discouraged to experience korea but you sort of know what you're getting and be prepared for it number six what i hate about korea a lot of korean people are small-minded so basically they can't accept different beauty standards they can't accept different sexual preferences like dating a black person is such a scandalous thing until now maybe you see youtube like of Korean guys and Korean girls saying like, hey, I'm willing to date a black person. I think they're beautiful, blah, blah, blah. I don't think that that is an accurate representation of how most Koreans think. It is still a really scandalous thing. And if a Korean my age were to date a black person, it would be something that would be talked about by his or her friends and by his or her parents and most likely and not in a super positive and accepting way that is just the facts and i'm not gonna sugarcoat things by saying oh korean people are willing to date black people and we think they're beautiful i'm sure some people do but most people are not that open-minded unfortunately dating a white person doesn't get that much stigma that is the unfortunate fact it is very hard to find a place in the world where white people are looked down upon <laughs> Same thing in Korea. I have friends who date black people or date like Southeast Asian people and they tell me these things about these conversations that they have with these Korean people and they wouldn't even happen if it was not Korea but because they're Korean people who are not exposed and who are like small-minded it's really frustrating that they even have to have those conversations that are low-key offensive and not accepting. Apart from all these foreign ideologies, like beauty standards, sexual preference, dating a different ethnicity, those are all like foreign ideals. Like those are mostly ideologies that come from the West, right? Apart from that, even like life choices about when to marry, Korean people are small-minded about that. So they have this fixed idea about when you should marry. Even if you are not exposed to a certain culture, I don't understand why you have to be small-minded about people's life choices, like personal life choices about when they want to marry, when they want to have kids, if they want to marry. Um, but a lot of Korean people have this fixed idea of how other people should be so you should be this certain way and you should get married and you should be like blah blah blah, blah. and they're not afraid to tell them your mind <laughs> and they think that it's caring for you uh, it's part of korean culture it's like they're not afraid to tell you what they think <laughs> my response is i openly call them out and say that it's not nice to say those things and i don't care and to those people i am rude and too westernized and too open <laughs> recently there is a small movement in korea trying to say this trying to change this so they are calling out people it's called ojirap they are calling out people who are basically forcing their ideas onto other people and are small-minded um there is a small movement trying to change this just wanted to mention that number seven what i hate about korea the patriarchal mindset people in their 30s definitely definitely have this mindset i don't have exact data from but from what i feel more than 80 percent and people in their 20s also have this patriarchal mindset like korea has established such economic growth in such a short time and the side effect of that is that people's ideals and social norms cannot follow the state of the economic affluence so although we are as affluent as first world countries our thought process doesn't follow up because we developed so fast economically. So men and women both feel pressure. Men feel the pressure that they have to marry and when they marry, they have to be in charge of making the money, basically. Males feel this burdening responsibility and females feel like they're being discriminated. Because there fundamentally is a patriarchal mindset, we also have patriarchal systems. 
We don't have good maternity leave systems or any maternity support systems. A lot of the women who become pregnant or have a child end up leaving their careers. It's impossible in Korea for a woman to have a full-time career as well as a baby. And that is also the case in a lot of other countries, I am aware. But it's really a shame because Korean women have the highest education degree compared to other countries and it is very frustrating that the social system and the social mindset cannot support that. I've heard stories from my friends who are my age and they grew up in this family where their brothers have a slight, like their male siblings have a slight superiority over them and their father have this authority in the house like whenever he eats the wife would fetch him water he would never fetch water himself so he would eat and he's like i'm thirsty and then the wife would get up and fetch him water that is not a surprising scene to most people my age because they've grown up with that quite a lot of korean men in their 30s think that that's the way a family should be and some people even in their 20s think that way and i don't like that mindset i really want there to be a society where a woman can have children without worrying about losing their job and now they have to depend on their husband's money number eight racism this is a really tricky topic to address because as i said countless of times most of these things that i hate about korea they're not 100 percent koreans people's fault it's not because they're horrible people or they have personality issues it's due to the environment that they grew up in and i would probably be the same as i say countless of times i'm not saying i'm different or I'm above them like I would have acted like the majority of Korean people if I didn't have different experiences anyway racism they definitely exist in Korea thankfully there is a social movement saying that this is problematic and people are interested in this topic but we are behind obviously compared to western countries we are like several generations behind <laughs> so although things are changing I really do think so but racist people still do exist and like extreme racist people exist like the racist people who tell me that i can't date a foreigner uh, and they tell and they look down on people who date people of color those people definitely exist but they are not i wouldn't say that they are the majority the majority of people just have like stigmas against people of color that's also pretty racist but towards black people or southeast asian people or latin people they think that you've come to korea as a labor worker and it is true that a lot of those ethnicities come to korea as a labor worker but i don't think it's an excuse to like ignore them or sort of look down on them or think of them as less as you but unfortunately some people think that way i had indian exchange students in my school they came here to learn social studies or coding or whatever they had almost no korean friends it is true that it's hard for foreigners to make friends Reminder of my point one, most Korean people are unwilling to make foreigner friends. But I just know that it's harder for those Indian exchange students because there's an overlaying stigma up on top of that. Like maybe some Korean people would watch this video and think that I am overly exaggerating or I'm putting Korea into a bad light. But I would say that I'm speaking the fact and that's how things are in Korea. And I'm not saying this to say that those Koreans are bad. I think acknowledging the problem is the first step to change. And I think Korea does need some change. And if I get hated by Korean people for like exposing Korea, I think that's also a small mindset. Like, why are you trying to hide secrets? Um, you should try to change them. Like. Don't shut me down, change yourself. Again, this is my personal experience. There are foreigners who say that Koreans are extremely racist and all Koreans like look down on people of color. I think that's an exaggeration. So people who say like, oh, I've been spit on in the street. Like that's a really rare case <laughs> in Korea. It's really tricky because I don't want to blame 100% on Koreans and say that they have bad personalities or they're dumb. It's because, again, of the environment that they have been raised with, they are not exposed. And the media, the Korean media doesn't view racism as a major problem because, to be honest, it is not a major social problem within Korea. We're not a melting pot of different ethnicities. We're homogenous, so we don't have racial hate killings and stuff like that happens in the U.S. Those things get spotlight. Racism gets a spotlight in the U.S. and there's social consensus that that's very wrong and 
a lot of media and a lot of celebrities are trying to make a movement to change that. But in Korea, those things are not happening because frankly, it is not one of the main social issues we have. Uh, the main issues that we have are North Korea and their nuclear, basically. So that's what we talk about. So I don't blame like the individuals per se, but unfortunately, you might experience racism in Korea. It makes me mad that my foreigner friends have to experience things like that. But it also makes me sad when they like hate on Koreans and say, oh, all Korean people are racist and they're fucking like dumb asses and stuff like that. I just feel pity for those Koreans, um, basically. I don't hate on them. If you have lived in Korea, if you have any experience, please write in the comments below what you think of this problem and whether you have have any racist situations. Number nine, what I hate about Korea, air pollution. We have really bad air pollution, fine dust, and it is actually increasing uh, nasal problems in Korean kids. So they're getting more asthma, they're like, it's it's a it's one of the big social problems that Korea should solve. A lot of our air pollution is coming from China. So it's a big social issue to solve that dispute with China and make them reduce air pollution so it doesn't come to us. But obviously it's sort of hard. <laughs> to negotiate such a big thing like that. Air pollution in Seoul and in Korea, it's not a joke. In the summer, it's the worst. They announced it in the news like today, wear a mask when you're going out. Like even before Corona, we would wear masks in the summer because of the, of the air pollution. It causes like lung cancer and ath ath asthma. In summer, there will be maybe one day a week where you can go around without a mask. It is a city thing. New York also has bad air pollution from all the cars but it's worse in Seoul because so we are a very dense city so there are a lot of cars but there are also air pollution from the wind coming from China and several governments have tried to fix this like the past two three governments but it doesn't seem to be getting any better that's one of the things that I hate about Korea okay and final thing number 10 what I hate about Korea is the population density in Seoul Seoul I live in Seoul and I've lived in Seoul basically for the majority of the time that I've been in Korea, so for like 20 years. Seoul is like the second densest city in Korea, Next, like the first is some city in China and Seoul comes second in the population density. There are so many people in Seoul and so many cars and it leads to a lot of good things like when you watch the 10 things I love about Korea, it leads to a lot of good things like delivery being super fast and efficient because there is plenty of demand and needs from people. So it's easier to make a system. So we get like, so we get like parcel, we can get like parcel deliveries in like 12 hours or and stuff like that. So they, it comes with some perks. So I'm not saying that it's just bad. Everything has its ups and downs, but sometimes I really get sick of the population density in Seoul whenever you're trying to ride the subway when it's commute time it's really hell you are like this close with the person next to you and some days i am so done <laughs> so that's the last thing that i hate about korea so if this video was helpful please consider subscribing and liking this video check out my other videos too i do honest content about korea i am known for not sugarcoating things also make sure to follow my instagram link down below i do a live stream once a week and i notify you when i go live on my instagram as well please follow me on instagram so you can communicate with me more and i'll see you guys in the next video